Okay, so we've now got the CVI Tioc connected to our XVR. In this demonstration, we are using the XVR 7108 HE 4K I2. Now, I'm going to be using the web interface to configure this. So, the first thing we need to do is log into the IP address of the recorder on the network. Okay, pop in the username and the password for the admin controls. And once we're in, we can then go um, up to the top left and click settings and camera. From here, we can go to encoding. Now, the first thing we need to make sure that we do enable um, is the audio. So to be able to listen to the microphone that's on the camera itself, we we'll select the right channel, so it's channel one. If we want to, we can also adjust the resolution here. So it's a five meg variant that we have, but we can drop it down if we needed to. But if we click more at the bottom, we can enable audio. Now, to use the microphone on the camera itself, we need to set the audio source to HD CVI. If you set it as local, it'll use the connections on the back of the recorder. Um, if you are using Substream as well, and you want audio on that, don't forget to enable the audio for the Substream as well. Once that's done, we can go into the alarm settings, and then from alarm, we can go to video detection. And now we can enable uh, video detection for the relevant channel for motion detection. And then in here you can click region settings and you can adjust the region settings as you would for any other camera. Um, at the bottom you can click more and this is where you'll find the options for the siren and the warning light. Now these are independent options, so you can have one or the other, both or none. If we come out of that and go into the AI, in here we can go to parameters and you've got your face detection. Now you can enable this for the, again the relevant channel. If we select channel one again, so the rule settings, this will enable us to adjust the minimum and maximum size boxes as required. So uh, nice and easy to do that. And again, the more option at the bottom, this is where you can enable and disable the siren and the warning light based off of that face detection. Hit OK to save those settings. Now because we have a 7 series recorder, we can do the face recognition on here. So we could set it as a stranger um, alarm as well. Um, and again, have the siren and the warning light options in there. If we go to IVS, so this is where you can set up your intrusions and your trip wires. So again, channel one, we can enable a rule and this will give you the options for an intrusion, for example. So you can set your directions as you would normally, your effective target filter, so your human and your vehicle. And again, scroll down to the bottom and you have the options under more for the warning light and the siren. Nice and simple to set up. One thing to note though, is you can only have one function on um, instead of the other, you can't have them both. So if you have face detection enabled, you can't also have IVS or SMD. It's one or the other. So if we go into SMD, again, we can go and select the channel. We can then do your usual sensitivity options. And again, at the bottom, you've got the options for more and the siren and the warning light options on there. One thing to remember with SMD is the linkage does synchronize with the motion detection uh, configuration. So if you have SMD on, but you have your motion detection off, SMD won't do anything. And again, just a reminder to be able to enable either anything else, you need to make sure that you only have one on at the same time. So if we disable face detection, we can now go back into SMD and we can then enable that. Make sure we've got the settings that we want, so the warning light and the siren and then we can then hit OK, and it will then let us have SMD instead. If we go back into the alarm settings, under the alarm out port, the warning light options here, so you can select the channel, and you can adjust how long um, the delay is on the lights, and also the flicker frequency, and the siren, you can select again the channel, you can press play to test the sound, you can then select which clip you want to use, and again the volume, low, medium, or high. From here, on the local recorder, you'll have an option to update the audio files with a custom file, uh, which can be seen in another one of our videos. If we go to the live view, from here, we we'll just select this one single channel, make sure we've got it in HD, full screen ratio, make sure we've got it on real time as well. And if we enable the AI live, what we can then do from here is we can then view from the web view uh, any face detections, mass detections that are triggered. So we'll just enable those on again and then we'll give that a quick test.
Okay, so I've now got this set up with the face detection on. So if I give this a quick test, walking up to the camera, it picks up my face, recognises that I'm a young male, it's nice to know, uh, but I'm not wearing a mask. If I now put a mask on, and go back round to the room, come back to the camera, once again it'll pick up my face, it'll pick up that I'm again still a young male, um, and I'm now wearing a mask. If you require any more information on the new HTC VI TX, don't hesitate to get in touch. Drop us an email at technical at or comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and we'll see you in the next video.